Hey everybody, Rory from a &S Gear here. We've got uh, a lot of parts in front of us right here. Basically, we're going to talk about uh, ASAs and direct mounts. Uh, show you kind of the line of CP stuff that we have here. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, we've got just a standard frame. This is a frame off a of caulker, 90 degree frame. We're just going to use it to kind of give you a guide or an idea of where things go and how they mount to a gun. Um, we've got the new 49 cubic inch ninja tank just so you can get an idea of how things line up on here. Uh, we'll start with um, ASAs from CP that need a dovetail mount to them. Um, now when I say dovetail mount or people call them rails uh, it's this piece right here Okay, this design right here is called a dovetail now this is the standard size and then they also have a mini version looks like that now they both have the same design on the back side the way that works is you've got the receiving end and they slide together okay that's going to slide inside there like that once you would undo these screws right here it would slide right in and that's how you would mount this to the gun now this piece is going to go on here. You can see the holes here. The holes are going to line up on there. And then you can mount that part to it like that. Now obviously, if you want something to look a little cleaner, a little smaller, you can always take the smaller one and put it on there. And that's going to line up a little bit better potentially, make it look a little bit better. Now. There's three different kinds of of uh, rail mount versions that we've got. We've got this is the standard style right here. This is a non on off version. Okay, so you don't have any purge system or on off system on it. Take your rail mount, goes right on there. It's going to connect up like that. You can't even see that. Let's back that up a little bit just like that okay now you've got your 2005 or your standard ASA now this has an on and off on it this is going to purge the line that uh, is on your gun so it will we bring in a gun like that it'll purge the line set up in here any pressure that's inside here but it's not necessarily going to clean out any air or purge any air that's up into the, inside the gun so always dry fire your gun to make sure that you don't have any air stored inside there if you're going to do any tech work on your guns. So we've got your non on and off version and then your on and off version and then you've also got the new mini on off version and you can see the size difference right here. This is a smaller lighter version of the same ASA. So if you're looking for something with a little less weight this will be the way to go. These are the newer ones. This is the older style, the 2K5 style um, which has been around forever. So like I said, these all need a rail of some sort to mount it to the gun. Now, something real quick, I've got a, this is like a, an NXT shocker right here. It's kind of hard to see, but let me try to zoom in. The NXT shocker and a lot of guns now are coming with the rail or the dovetail mount already machined into the bottom of the frame here. So on this one, you wouldn't need the rail because the rail is actually part of the frame already. So you would slide this one off, and all you would need to do is just slide this one right on, and you've already got the mounting device inside there. So you wouldn't need a rail for this gun, but certain guns you will need a rail for. So you need to do a little bit of research on your gun and see which one, or if your gun has it or not, and then make a decision from there. Now these three that we have over on this side, over here, um, this is called a unimount or a direct mount. There's a couple different versions of this. Same with this over here. You've got your direct mount, non on and off version. So this doesn't have an on and off on it. This is just a straight screw in um, ASA, no on off. Then we've got your direct mount with on off. All right. And then again, a smaller version of that direct mount. So this one's a little bit shorter, a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner. Now direct mounts don't need any kind of rail on them. 
they just mount directly to the bottom. Two screws go through here and go directly into the frame and they're going to hold it on there. Now this kind of limits where we can put our tank on the frame. Because okay? once this attaches to the frame right here, you can't move it. You can't adjust it back or forward or anything like that. So wherever this ends up being, that's exactly where your tank is going to be. All right. And with the rail set up, we can put our rail on here. And then we've got a little bit of play on this. If we want, we can slide this back a little bit, mount it here. We can bring it forward a little bit, mount it here. So it gives you maybe about an inch or so of adjustment on where you can set the tank to be on the gun. With the direct mounts, you're limited to exactly where they mount to the gun. Again, you can actually see the two screws on this one. They'd go right in there. So your tank, if you were to do this one, is going to stick out almost an inch from the back of the frame before it mounts to the gun. Now, if you like a little bit more distance on your, on your tank setup, that's a perfect choice for you right there. If you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, maybe the ASA route or the, uh, the non-on-off version is better for you. Um, always there's a, there's a lot of choices, different options. Um, these are just some of the ones from CP. Um, these come in all sorts of different colors. Both the all the on-offs, the direct mounts, all come in a variety of colors from CP, especially the rails too. You can get them in all sorts of colors. Uh, it's up to you. It's a choice. Of, choice is yours. How you want to do it. Uh, a lot of different choices. Like I said, uh, check all the choices out and colors at ansgear.com.